Yeah, he can't stay in one spot. Brady loves his vacuum, cleaning just about every floor in sight. Don't try to open that, buddy. Why? The cleaning makes the four-year-old feel at ease. It was like just like at home. Oh, he loves it. He loves it. The Cheatham family from West Virginia relocated to Richmond for two months. Uh, Richmond and Ronald McDonald have been a home away from home. Jeff and Lisa made the temporary move to Richmond for their son, where the active preschooler could learn to eat. Brady entered the feeding program at the Children's Hospital of Richmond at VCU during the day. The family would stay at the Ronald McDonald House at night. If it wasn't for the Ronald McDonald House, I don't know how we'd be able to do the feeding program. You know, spending, you know, two months of, you know, having floating a mortgage plus another mortgage, essentially staying here is, uh, would have been too much. So they allowed us to actually do this program. It's like one of those things, if you haven't experienced it, you can't really truly appreciate the situation. February 23rd, 2013, little Brady entered the world early. Brady was born um, at 25 weeks, which means he's a micro preemie four months early. Brady's twin sister survived for just 20 minutes. Brady would be cared for at the NICU at Fairfax Inova Hospital in Falls Church. He would be there for six and a half months. He had chronic lung disease, underdeveloped lungs, and struggled to get the nutrients he needed. At three, Brady still had trouble eating. So they had to give him a G2 because then he had to get fed through the stomach um, to protect the lungs because his lungs were already still weak. Over the years, the muscles in his mouth grew weaker too, making it a challenge just to eat and to swallow. It gives you the sense of uh, you know drowning or suffocation. To get Brady stronger and eating, mom and dad chose the feeding program. They would also bond with other families at the Ronald McDonald House. You know, we saw them there, we saw them here, and it really helped us through this, you know, very hard kind of emotional time. We built some long lasting relationships too. Do you like to pick out a toy out of the, the magic closet? Brady has built relationships too at the house and in the neighborhood. If we were just walking down the street, you're like, Brady, come here, come here, come here. This one is perfect. Brady is still making progress. For the first time, he's in school. He and his family still make the occasional four-hour drive to Richmond to go to the feeding program. And he's beginning to eat like most four-year-olds. Pancakes and milk and yogurt and donuts. With every trip to the Ronald McDonald House, the Cheatham say they're getting something in return, something priceless. This house supports families from all over the world. And everyone, every family that's here that stays here is very... Um, appreciative of every little thing that that we get back. Either. The little things go a long way. Especially clean floors. 